Alright, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a demo of the liquid simulator on my site. You can drag the fluid around with your mouse, and also adjust these sliders up at the top of the window. Density controls how far apart the particles are spaced. Setting it to zero gives you a kind of a gas, and setting it high gives you more liquidity simulation. Stiffness controls the compressibility of the fluid. So if I turn it down low, you'll notice it's a lot more bouncy. There's a lot more density fluctuations. To illustrate bulk viscosity, I'm going to go back to a gas like substance gravity all the way down. I'm going to turn up smoothing just a bit so it doesn't get unstable. So above viscosity, I'm just going to do a few swishes with the mouse and I notice that the shock waves get smoothed out pretty quickly. If I turn it down low, you'll notice it gives you a kind of a ripple tank effect. And shock waves, they, they stay clear a lot longer. And you'll notice them bouncing off the walls and stuff. And this way, it gets all smoothed out. To demonstrate elasticity, I'm going to make it slightly more dense. And now you'll notice it behaves kind of like a jello. Um, I'm going to turn gravity up actually. So yeah, you get an elastic substance. To demonstrate viscosity, I'm going to turn back elasticity and smoothing. And all right, so maybe I'm going to go back to a gas. sweep with the mouse over here and now I'm going to turn viscosity down really low and you'll notice that the fluid is a lot more turbulent and there are a lot more vortices viscosity if it's turned up way high um, it just smooths out all these little vortices and stuff now that viscosity and bulk viscosity are kind of different. Viscosity operates on the shear components while bulk viscosity operates on the normal components. So bulk viscosity is more related to like the compressibility stuff and viscosity is more related to the elasticity uh, stuff. Okay. I guess I'm going to go back to Denser liquid and turn up elasticity again to demonstrate yield rate because yield rate uh, relies on the elasticity value actually. Um, if you're not sim, if your elasticity value is at zero, then uh, the yield rate slider is not going to change anything. Um, I'm going to turn gravity back up. All right, maybe density. I'll turn up. A little bit too. All right, so you'll notice over here we have a jello, and actually I'm gonna 
turn that a bit higher to demonstrate this. So you'll notice over here that they remembered their original shape and try to go towards that. If you turn up yield rate, it actually makes them start forgetting their original shape. Uh, so if you turn, if yield rate is pretty low, it'll still be kind of elastic, but it'll eventually melt away. Let me see. Okay. So it's still kind of elastic, but it'll melt away with time. And that's basically what yield rate does. This has probably been the most confusing because it only shows up when you're simulating elastic materials. And this is actually just a really simple like kind of model. I didn't want to add too many variables like like the uh, th threshold at which it like the material would fracture or stuff like that. So I just did a simple thing where the material melts away with time and that's yield rate. In gravity you've already seen and it's pretty obvious. Smoothing is it's kind of a weird parameter, it's not very physics based. It's just, this is simulated on a um, grid, so particles are allowed to, they, they store their own velocities and then there are also velocities on a grid which are kind of interpolated, so the grid velocities would be smoother, but you lose a bit of data that way, like becomes less turbulent and stuff. So smoothing just sets how close the particle velocities are to the interpolated grid velocities. And yeah, I think that's basically all. Smoothing uh it's actually it seems to be pretty useful when I'm simulating elastic materials, it helps it remember the shape a little better. Like the stress tensor integration gets kind of confused when the motion is too turbulent and stuff, so. Yeah, that's all. And please keep on sharing this site with your friends and. That's all.